Hello everybody, this is Yoga Nick and let's play Minecraft. Today I'm going to show you a cool way to display your uh, item frames. Of course item frames are uh, meant to um, uh, to display stuff already, uh, but I'm not completely happy with them because if you were unlucky and, and, and hit it with an arrow then the stuff pops up and that's not really cool. Uh, plus, sometimes you just want to make a big display out of something, uh, like that the one spot on the wall is, is not enough. You need to like uh, build a big chest and, and, and uh, display a couple of things. So let's get right into it. Uh, we're basically going to um, start a new world here. It uh, doesn't matter what it's called. Put it on creative. And I always like to use the super flat stuff, uh, which saves me uh, a, a lot of time. Uh, like flattening out stuff if, if you're going to build something that you would obviously use inside anyway. Okay, here we are in a brand new flat world. Uh, so we're going to need, for the backdrop, I always uh, like to use uh, color wool. Uh, yeah, let's use dark blue this time, that'll be nice. And uh, have some, uh, some brick around it, yeah. And then we're going to need the glass that's going to go in front of it. Uh, I always like to use uh, this one because then it looks shiny as if it's on a sunny day. Um, and yeah, we're gonna, gonna need some item frames, of course. Item frames, and uh, let's uh, let's put some skulls in the item frames because that looks pretty cool. All right, um, let's get started on the uh, on the basics. Uh, we'll start thinking about uh, making it pretty later. First, like I said, the uh, backdrop is going to be blue wool. I think we're just going to go with four uh, of them. We might as well add some heads while we're at it. How about a zombie head and a creeper head? I don't like the Steve head, it's creepy. Why would you display your own head anyway? Unless it's Herobrine. Now, let's make a border around it. Now, you know, now we're going to finish it by uh, putting glass in front of it. Okay. S can always count on sli uh, slimes to come and wreck the show. Okay, so in order to push the glass uh, panes in, we are going to use uh, pistons. I can get rid of all this stuff. Oh, except the glass pane. Shouldn't have got rid of the glass pane. There, and of course the pistons. And we're going to use a button to activate the pistons. And of course we need some uh, some building blocks we can use. Iron ore will do just fine. Now we're going to load it up with pistons and add the first row of glass. Uh, this glass is going to be pushed down encasing these item frames uh, into the transparent block which is going to be really lovely. So there we go. That's the three of them. And that's the three of them. And okay. At the second row of glass. Push the button. And the other button for the last one. And there you go. As you can see, the item frames are now uh, hidden inside the glass. Makes for a real nice display case this year. So just fill out the top row, and then we can get rid of the pistons. Uh, this can easily be done in uh, survival mode as well, of course, but that would make the video a lot more boring. This is why I uh, chose creative mode this time. It's one of the few things creative mode is good for. Uh, there you have it, a beautiful display case for your skulls. My name is Yoga Nick, thank you for watching and cheers, bye bye. Don't forget to leave a like.